Hi, this is Warner, and this is the third video I'm making in the series, How Much to Water. In the first video, we covered the basics of a drip irrigation system and how to maintain it. The second video covered how much to water queen palms, and in this video, we're going to be discussing how much to water citrus trees. Now, if you look on my website at Warner's Tree Surgery, which is at www.warnerstreesurgery.com, you'll notice that we have a number of PDF files. One of these files is irrigating citrus trees. Okay, and we're going to open up that PDF file. Now, all this information and these videos are on the page, How Much to Water. So, I've already opened that up, and we're going to go to... Uh, there's a link here. There's also a link on this image that will open up this PDF file. Now this is put out by the Arizona College of Agriculture and, and they're usually pretty good about uh, anything they put in print being uh, accurate. So it, it just kind of gives you some basics and uh, and when you get down to the second page, it starts to give you some, some figures for how much water a citrus tree needs. And it's surprising how much they need. This is the requirements for an orange tree in gallons per day that has a tree diameter of 14 feet in July. And it's almost 30 gallons a day. That's... 270 gallons a week. That's a lot of water. Most people don't water their citrus trees that much and and uh, that just puts money in my pocket when I go out and, and diagnose tree disease and try and help people get their trees healthy. I always address how much water they're getting. And in the case of citrus trees, uh, it's hardly ever enough. Now, these are the, we grow citrus here, not as much as we used to, but we used to grow, you know, citrus for the, the whole country here in Arizona, in Mesa. And these guys know what they're talking about when they know how much water it takes to keep a citrus tree healthy. Okay. And that's why they built the canals down here, and put in all the lakes and did all that stuff, not just for the other agriculture. But the citrus trees take a lot of water. We used to be able to drive through the groves at night before they cut them all down to build houses. And it would drop the temperature 10 degrees when you'd, when you'd drive through the, you know, the, the parts of the valley where they had groves on both sides of the street. So that's it. I'll see you later.